What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to take you through oh. the process on how I key out the green in a green screen in After Effects. Today, we made a little intro video for our podcast, Becoming Alpha, and I thought it'd be a good tutorial to show you the process on how to effectively key out this green and have a transparent background. So as you can see here, this is me in front of the green screen. Um, there is this space up here and we didn't do too great of a job lighting it, um, but this is great for the tutorial because I'll show you how to effectively get all of these shades of green out. And what we're first gonna do is create a mask. And the reason I create a mask is, you can see right here it's really white, or the green is really green, and down here it's a, a bit darker. Um, so I'm gonna key out the space that I am in, just to minimize some of the effects of the spill. So here I am. And the next step is you're gonna go to the effects and presets, and you're gonna type in key. And under animation presets, you can see key light, key cleaner, advanced spill suppressor. And when we put this on, you can see uh, three effects come in. And we're gonna use all three effects, maybe two of them, to get this, to get this right. So, we're gonna start here with the color, the green screen color. And like I said, this is very green, this is dark green, and we kind of want to pick a neutral green somewhere where it does the best job. So that was a little bit too light. That is almost perfect. So you can see there is still some spill here, and when you go into the view and go to the screen mat, you want this to be as black as possible and you to be as white as possible. So we're gonna go to the screen mat right here and we're gonna bring the blacks up, let's say to 20, which is actually pretty good. You can see down here there's a little bit of spill. Let's bring that up to 25. I think that is good. Let me try 30. Now let's stick to 25 because there is this in my pants and I'll show you how to get that too. So we're gonna go to the whites and we're gonna bring down the whites. I did 80. And that actually did a really good job of separating that. So we're gonna go back to the intermediate results. And you can see that it did a really good job of taking out the green on the outside. Now what you are gonna notice is that when I zoom in here, there's this green around me and around my collar here and it's the reflection off the green screen. And how are we gonna get rid of that? Well, this advanced spill suppressor here is perfect. Um, you can see that it's off because of the FX button. And I'll show you how powerful this really is because there isn't much you have to do. So, let me turn this on. And you can see that it took all of the green out of my hair. And look at the collar too, so off. We can see this green outline and it gets rid of it. Let's see how the shoes look because I know the shoes had some off. We can see this green and it's basically gone. So there it is, um, <clears throat> a pretty effective way to get all the green out of the green screen. And as we play through it, as long as I stay within this mask, it'll be perfect. Now, what we do want to do is obviously there, I have all of these clips here. And because it's in the same exact position, all I have to do is copy these three, control C, and then paste it onto this layer here. And there it is. Obviously this is up because I didn't put the mask on yet. So let me copy and paste it to every layer here. And then I'm gonna take the mask that I created for this one, control C, and then control V on this layer. You can see it put it on, got rid of this top. Control V, control V, control V, control V. And there it is. That is how to effectively get rid of the green screen. Now an important piece to this, before you render this out, when you are in the settings here, 
you want to do either lossless or QuickTime. And then this channel's RGB, you want to put to RGB plus alpha. And what that's going to do is remove the background and make it blank. Click OK, name it, press. And there you go. That is how you effectively remove the green from a green screen in After Effects. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I come out with these every so often. Please share our um, podcast, Becoming Alpha, if you like it. And I will see you in the next video. Alpha.